Hello, my name's Mike, M0MSN, and you find me in my car. Uh, and you find me in my car because I have had reports from um, various people uh, up and down the the motorway that uh, my signal to them has become um, a little bit weak, a bit wishy-washy. And I must admit, I have also um, found it difficult at times to receive my local repeater. So I guess it's time to investigate and find out why this is the case. Uh, so please join me as I investigate why I'm not receiving as I should. OK, so the first thing we should check really is um, SWR. Uh, let's, uh, let's test that straight away. Uh, I'll give you a quick walk around the car first to show you what I've got um and what antenna it is where it's mounted etc uh, and then we'll check the swr to see if it's high uh, and if it's high then we'll investigate why it's high uh, and then perhaps we'll we'll move on from there right let's have a look so my antenna of choice for my car is the nagoya um what is it it's a 77 el uh wh i have no idea what that means but that's what it is um and it's on a boot lip mount and it's been on there now, I would suggest probably three years, maybe four years. Um, it's had a few alterations done to it. This is one of these ones that you can pull out and tilt and what I've done is wrap tape around it to prevent that from happening. I've also put a little bit of epoxy resin on the top of it to help prevent water egress into the workings. Because inside there you have a coil, because um, this is a DC grounded antenna. Uh, and the center is fed via a small um, 49 um, picofarad capacitor um, onto, I don't know, maybe the fourth or fifth turn of the coil in there. Um, the idea of that is that it actually gives you a, a perfect match. You know, it's a 50 ohm um, match, which means in reality, this antenna doesn't actually need a ground plane for it to SWR. But of course, without a ground plane on a car, you've got very little output. It's uh, it's rubbish. Anyway, so this is a, um, a 5 8 wave. It's got a center uh, loading coil on it, as you can see. Um, and it's mounted on the very, very back of my car on a boot lip mount. OK, let's uh, let's test the SWR. Turn on the old SWR meter. Okay, oh god, getting reflection in the SWR meter. Let's have a let's have a see what the SWR is. Oh yeah, okay. So that is incredibly high. Um, my goodness, and yeah, <laughs> yes. Okay, I think we need to investigate why that is the case. So I guess one of the first things we need to do is remove the actual antenna from the mount. Um, if we keep the antenna on the mount, and then because this is a, a DC ground, it actually represents a, um, a short to DC. So we can't do any continuity testing or to see if anything is shorted because the antenna itself is actually a short to DC. It's not a short to AC, but it is a, do a short to DC. So we need to remove the antenna to start with. And and then we can inspect to see whether or not it's wet or whether it's got any build-up of... Um, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, OK. You can see it hasn't been off for a while. Uh, there's quite a good build-up of that white um, composite, which is the reaction between aluminium and steel. Um, so we'll clean that off. The SO239 itself looks OK. It doesn't look as if it's... Um, Got any water or moisture in it or if it's worn or gapped but uh, we'll clean all that up anyway uh, we also got to disconnect the the radio end uh, because that also represents a short um, so that we can test for continuity so i've pulled everything through the uh, the ski hatch so that i can actually sit in the car and test all of this stuff uh, this is the uh, the, the uh, po259 that connects to the back of the radio normally um, it's actually, I use um, one, 176, I think the coax is, which is very, very thin. Uh, the beauty of it, it's only a short run, but the beauty of it is it's really thin and can go through the, 
uh, the seals on the door uh, without uh, causing any any leaks so anyway we can see that it's disconnected uh, and it won't make a short so let's test to see if we have any shorts in our feed okay first of all let's test for a short circuit nothing there just make sure that's actually yeah no uh, short let's test for um continuity i'm gonna do that i've got uh, i may have to open the boot and pull the uh the cable through bear with me <laughs> oh no, stop doing it! It's much easier when you're not filming. Okay, cool. So now what we need to see now is whether or not we've actually got a good ground between the lip mount and the car. We know these two um, have got good continuity and there's no shorts, uh, which is good to see. Um, so let's uh, let's now see whether or not the, uh, the boot lip mount itself has got good grounding to the car. Oh. What I've done is I've got the uh, the earth lead on the external braid of the coax, and what I'm going to do is attempt to touch the uh, the door latch catch with the positive side. So we have got good ground which is good. Okay, so we know it's not an issue with the mount and the, the coax, so the antenna must be at fault. Let's test that principle. Now, because these particular antennas are DC short to ground, um, that means basically the in actual antenna itself is, is one great big grounded stick, if you like, um, and the center feed is fed via a capacitor to a, to a matching coil. Uh, if you put a continuity tester across the bottom of this type of antenna between the um, the shield and the the center core, it, it should be open and it, you won't get any DC short. Um, if it's a tapped coil, it will represent a DC short. Um, and if the capacitor's gone um, closed or uh, it's it's basically a short circuited capacitor you'll get a dc short uh, and if it's open you won't get any reading at all um, and the only way you can test to see if the antenna is any good is to actually put it on the um, on the mount um, and lengthen or lower the antenna to see if it makes any difference to the swr um, the other way of testing antenna is just to remove it completely and put a different antenna on the mount uh, and see if that starts SWRing straight away. Uh, if it gives you a better SWR, you know that the, the original antenna is, is, is damaged or broken. The other thing it could be is the fact that it simply may have water or dirt in the bottom of the SO239 uh, or the PO259, depending on your antenna setup. Um, take the antenna off, clean it, let it dry if it's wet, um, or just, you know, stick a bit of tissue up there because it may be something as simple um, as a buildup of moisture, which is shorted or, or made the impedance go up. Um, you might even have a spider go in it, believe it or not, and, and you know, will uh, cause the SWR to go uh, crazy. Uh, sorry, I've taken the antenna off the car and what I'm going to do now is clean it. But before I do any of that sort of thing, I'm going to replace the antenna with, with a new one I've purchased just to see whether or not um, it's uh, an issue elsewhere or 
you know, if the new antenna will SWR. Now the thing is, right, with a brand new antenna, don't expect it to have a zero SWR out of the box per se. You may have to SWR the antenna to make it good for your car. Right, anyway, let's stick a new aerial on and see what we got with the readings. So again, it's another Nagoya, only this one is a uh, NL770, so it's a 770H, I've got no idea what this antenna is like. It's brand new, straight out of the box as it were. And this one doesn't go over the nut by the looks of it, it just uh, sits on top of it. But that's okay, we don't mind things like that. Um, the Allen keys have not been done up tight, um, but uh, it's sitting quite nicely. Let's see how, another one with a centre coil, I quite like this type of antenna. Let's see how this one SWRs. Okay, switch it on. Boom. Okay, let's set the frequency to... Uh, one four four zero zero so right at the bottom of the band and one point well almost two to one so but we have got 42 watts coming out of it so it's definitely a better tune um but let's go to the middle of the band that's 175 okay Let's go 140, 445, 900, one, one, four, five, nine, seven, five, right at the very top of the band. Oh, right, okay. So the antenna's too short, okay? We know that the, or too long? No, it'd be too short. Um, it's it's low at the top of the band which means it's too uh which which means it's shorter than it needs to be at the bottom of the band if you understand what i mean so we need to make the antenna slightly longer so now we're going into the swr territory but as you can see certainly better than the previous antenna let's go and get an air allen key now we saw that the swr was better at the top of the band than it was at the bottom of the band which means it's too short which means it needs to be longer I wonder how much longer so what i've done is i've, I've extended the antenna to the maximum length okay so that's uh, lengthened by i don't know probably two and a half centimeters in total let's turn that this thing goes to sleep too quickly right let's uh test it again now can I make that sit somewhere nice? There we go. Okay. Can we see that? No, not particularly well. Here we go. Right, so 144. Oh, that's better. 1.1. 1. 1, uh, just under, or yeah, 1.08. We can go that 1.1. 1. 1. That's fine. Let's go to 144. Nine seven five again. Yep. Click. One point zero two to one. We like this. Uh, one four five. One four five nine seventy five. Top of the band for us in the UK. One to one. And I guess it will be just as good going up through to the 146, 147. Excellent. Let's try uh, 70 centimetres now. Okay, that's cool. Uh, that's on 70 centimetres. Um, let's go up a channel. Yep, that's, that's fair enough. I mean, they're all within... Yep, lovely. Okay, I can accept that. That's pretty good. Back down to two meters. Excellent stuff. Well, there we are. Okay, so finally with the uh, car put back together again, 
the aerial on the boot the boot lip mount is tested and it's got good ground to the car the antenna is connected back up to the radio the swr is this pretty good it's spot on really for for what we need um and just a quick test on low power uh to get into our local repeater now low power on this radio is three watts and uh from my location on three watts is a bit of a push to get into the gloucester repeater i'm in a bit of a radio now where i am so if this actually works we know our swr is all good and uh, ready to rock and roll. so yep there we go we are cooking on gas um or in this new modern world heat pump